What's up YouTube? So I promised you another battery build video and you're gonna get it. But first, these are big ass zip ties. These are a couple dollars worth of bolts and nuts. And these are 500 milliamp lithium iron phosphate cells, 20 of them already built in parallel for 100 amp hours. This is a 100 amp hour, 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. So, if you take four of those, then you have a 100 amp hour, 12 volt battery. If you take these bolts and you bolt, you know, after you take the, take the bolts and you bolt the, the leads together, there's no, you know, there's no soldering. There's no, you know, bus bars you need to source. All you gotta do is bolt these together and then put you some, um, you know, heat shrink around that to protect them from uh, shorting out. Then you take these big ass zip ties. We, you can get these at your hardware store. Check this out. Ready for this? If I can do it. and just zip time together that th these are fifty dollars a piece so these four cell packs are is two hundred dollars from battery hookup this right here is roughly a quarter of what you're going to pay for well-known brand battery so you could get f almost four of these for the cost of a schmattelschmorn of course you want you'll want to add a bms battery hookup has a BMS but these are brand new shipped from the US and you're not going to be waiting uh, you know months for some cells to ship overseas that uh, might be bad cells might be swollen this is as simple as it gets and it's super cost effective so uh, I actually got eight of these because all my systems are 24 volt um, so I'm going to uh, put eight of them in series for a 24 volt battery. I've got four of them over here that are top balancing. You can see here I'm charging at charging at 10 amps. That's taking a long time because that's right now these are uh, four in parallel, so that's 400 amp hour 3.2 volt battery right now. So, anyways, whenever that finishes, I'm going to top balance these four the same way and then i'm going to build uh, put them in series and make me a, a 24 volt 100 amp hour battery on the cheap and we're going to do a capacity test and we're going to see if these are worth it so i ended up running into a uh, kind of a snag i let me flip this bad boy around so i was top balancing four cells at a time so I finished top balancing these four cells and then I hooked this one these four up to top balance and when I hooked up this cell right here that I got marked with an X uh, this cell pack uh, to this one I immediately felt it get hot this connector and so I knew something was was wrong and uh, I didn't check the voltages like I should have before I tried to parallel them together. So I disconnected this one and I thought, okay, well this one's gotta be, you know, more discharged than, than this. So uh, I checked the voltage of this pack and unfortunately this one was under 2.5. I think it was around 2.3 or something like that. Now here's, here's the upside. I emailed battery hookup and they responded within a day and they shipped me out a new one no questions asked and uh, so here it is right here so that's the beauty of dealing with a company that's here in the united states you know had i had waited months for these to be shipped from china or whatever i guarantee you you know i would have had to hassle 
a dispute and emailing back and forth. And then, uh, you know, I would have had to wait how many more months uh, if they were going to resolve that issue. You know, maybe they would have just said, you know, charge it up and, um, you know, live with it. That could have very well been the outcome. So, anyways, these guys are rock stars in my opinion. They didn't give me any grief at all. I said I have one cell pack, you know, that's bad. They said we're shipping one out immediately. And so there it is. Let's, uh, let me set you down for a sec. So let's check the voltage on this guy. So, um, this one is not under the 2.5, but it is a little bit lower than the rest. Let me try this meter. Let's try to get, okay. No, I'm sorry, I was wrong. This one is 3.19, so we're perfectly fine here. I'm gonna charge this up, and then we're gonna get to building the pack in series and then we're gonna get to a discharge test so I'll be back Hey guys, <laughs> make sure that uh, you don't have the, the negative uh, and the positives to each other. I screwed up on that one. <laughs> Simple fix. So yeah, you definitely can do it this way. Um, uh, you might wanna zip tie all these down so they're not flopping around, of course. Now the other option is, and this is something I'm gonna probably do after I do the discharge test, but I'm probably actually going to remove these wires and the tabs, I'm gonna solder together. You know, all these wires here in the middle I'm just going to solder these tabs together. And you can do that if you have, you know, if you want to spend the time to do that, have the soldering skills to do so. Uh, that's definitely an option. I personally am going to choose that option. However, you can do it just like this and uh, it'll work just fine. The only, uh, you know, it's just a little bit more messy and uh, you do have a little bit more resistance with all this extra wire and stuff laying around. So up to you, entirely up to you, but uh, you can totally build your battery pack with these uh, and we're just bolt bolting them together. So up next, I'm going to wire in my shunt, my Juntec shunt here, and then we're going to pull a, a discharge and see what, uh, 
see what we get, see what the capacity of, of these are. to by liquid death haha <laughs> just kidding this wasn't brought to you by liquid death all right guys um, so the test is complete and we are at 107.51 amp hours so that is a pass um, these have exceeded their rated capacity by 7.1 amp hours, or 7.51 amp hours. Uh, we hit uh, 2,624 watt hours. So yeah, these are great. Um, the only thing I, I think these, uh, these wires right here, you know, there's definitely some resistance going on there. They're warm, uh, but they're not like hot. Uh, where they would ignite or anything like that, and they're they're silicone. <clears throat> I think that uh, me personally, I'm probably going to remove these and solder these tabs together, so I don't have all these extra wires. But it'll work either way. Uh, so I'll probably do another video where I solder these, uh, to, uh, remove all these wires and solder the tabs together and do a capacity test and see m maybe we get a little bit more uh, capacity because the heat that's being generated by these wires here, uh, like I said, it's nothing that's like on the on the verge of combustion or anything like that. It's warm. Uh, so might actually end up getting a little bit better capacity if uh, these little heaters <laughs> aren't on top of it. But uh, yeah, these, uh, uh, these cells are great. Um, you know, for $50 a piece, so this whole pack right here is $400. And you know, it's 100 amp hours at 24 volts. Uh, it pulled 107.51 and 2,624 watt hours. Uh, you just don't you don't get that uh, uh, very frequently. You know, if you're buying a, a, a already built battery off of uh, Amazon or from uh, from another well-known company or something like that, you're going to pay out the wazoo for this this kind of capacity you're gonna you're gonna pay <laughs> probably uh, three to four times what this cost to get this kind of capacity and like I said uh, battery hookup is here in the US and uh, you know it's not gonna take forever to ship and if you have a problem you're gonna get it resolved so see you guys on the next video